Well, it's about that time for pecan season, and this year's starting to shape up to be a pretty good crop. So, Phil, how, how are things going with the pecan crop? Well, they look excellent. Uh, we have the potential for maybe close to a 30 million pound uh, harvest this year in pecans uh, statewide. Uh, that's not our record, but it's, it's a pretty good number of pecans. This is the critical time for pecan weevil after the pecans have gone through the water stage. So if you can go out in your pecan orchard and you can pull a few uh, nuts off the tree, and if you can cut them with a knife and there's water that comes out of there, it's too early. Don't worry about pecan weevil that early in the season. But we're probably past that stage for most varieties, most of the cultivars that we have out there. If those pecans are past that water stage and they start to enter that gel stage where they'll be like a, almost what looks like a little gel inside that nut, that's the time when it's really critical for pecan weevil management. And uh, when it gets into that dough stage, that's the next stage after the gel stage when the pecan weevil females are out there laying eggs. And they'll lay anywhere from two to four eggs in each pecan nut that they come across. They'll lay 50 to 75 eggs during their lifetime and they'll put it two to four eggs in each pecan nut. They actually lay it in the kernel meat itself and the pecan weevil feeds on that kernel meat. So when we talk about management, what are some management practices that producers can take? Well, we, we suggest that they, in terms of managing the crop, we suggest that after that dough stage or during that dough stage, that's the time when they have to make their first application of insecticide. Then the second application is based on what we capture in circle traps and use a threshold that we suggest which is 0.3 weevils per trap per trap not per tree per trap per day and we suggest two circle traps per tree so that you are encircling the tree if possible and then if you follow that threshold you'll do a pretty good job of protecting it and so insecticides is kind of the basic approach that we take uh, we have some that are traditional types of insecticides. Most of the things that the, uh, the, the big commercial operators are applying are pyrethroids, and they do a very effective job. The problem with pyrethroids nowadays is that they have a tendency to flare aphid populations. So you've got to be careful about the aphid populations. Uh, we're in a situation right now with the rains that we've been getting that uh, aphid populations haven't been a great concern. but if that application flares aphid populations, which it does tend to do because pyrethroids are just of that nature, then you might want to incorporate a different type of insecticide that also manages aphids. All right, thanks, Phil. You bet. If you'd like some more information on pecans and pecan weevil control, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.